Hi, my name is Louise and I'm going to tell you my story of healing. Um, I used to be really, really ill when I was 35. Um, I'm 39 today and um, I was progressively getting more and more ill in, during the years leading up to 35. It started off with anxiety attacks for several years. I got severe social phobia. Uh, I could never have done this video back then. Um, I started to get like little things like arthritis or gout uh, in my toes and my fingers. I got progressively more and more tired. I um, had problems sleeping. I got all swollen in my joints and face and everywhere. Um, I had severe PMS. Um, I <laughs> took a lot of medication for I don't know, um, herpes, HPV virus, um, I got, for the gout, I, I got painkillers, I um, had allergic reactions to some foods, um, just, just lots of little things that was just getting more and more annoying and worse and worse. Um, then in 2008 I started to change my diet and I removed some things in it and I got a little bit better but still not enough and I tried lots of um, superfoods and um, supplements. I I don't know what I did but I, I took lots of detox pills and things and in the end I simply ended up just with severe adrenal fatigue. I'd had a pretty stressful life as well because I was in television business for a while. Um, but at the time I had a quiet job at a school and I was simply just so ruined in my body that I could hardly leave my bed in the end. Um, and my liver didn't function, I had gallstones, I um, was all yellow all over. Um, I had eczema but I had that since I was two years old and uh, and that was always there but my my body was just in a pretty bad state and I didn't know what was wrong so I had some tests sent uh, to the States and the tests told me that I had severe adrenal fatigue my um, gut was loaded with bacteria um, I my <laughs> neuros, neurotransmitters didn't work I'm Danish, that's why I'm having some English problems. But, um, yeah, um, what else? I, yeah, I, I had a test that told me that I had so much cell damage, um, like free radicals um, in my cells, that the DNA was breaking up and being kicked out of the, the cells. And the doctor told me that the next step would be cancer or that I might even have cancer already. And he suggested that I severely, seriously did something to, yeah, to get better because my body was in a very poor state. He also said that my hormones were at the level of a pensioner, that I could only do like floating in a swimming pool or walking. I wasn't allowed to run or do serious exercise. Um, and yeah, he also told me I couldn't have children um, because my my hormones were just non-existent, you know. So that was pretty sad news and I was very depressed and I could hardly walk the five steps from my bed and out to the toilet and I was desperate. Så jeg var enormt træt. Jeg kan ikke stå på benene i mine 10 minutter i gangen. Virkelig spændende kost, ikke? Og jeg er ved at være halvvejs igennem denne her skubber. Så har vi den der. Så har vi en helt spændende, spændende piller mere her. Med en lemmer, som slet ikke er afgivet.
and for a year I tried everything that the regular doctors say about adrenal fatigue and um, the dietitians say about diet and I did it all and nothing really worked. Um, so then one day I encountered the 80-10-10 diet and I have well since then basically lived on fruits and vegetables, primarily fruit, and then a tiny tiny bit of seeds and nuts. Um, and after like a month or so, uh, I I got I felt pretty good. It's like the first couple of weeks it was up and down, and then suddenly I just felt really good. I got lots of energy. I felt um, so happy, and that was only for a short while because after that I went down into a serious detox hole, and that hole lasted something like four months to a year. <laughs> And those weren't pretty months. Um, any symptom that I had would just increase and I would have flus and headaches and nausea and diarrhea and everything you can possibly think of, I had it. And it just went on and on and on. And luckily I just stuck with it um, and th thought, well, I saw that I had the improvement in the beginning. I'm sure it will come back. And so now it's three years later and I'm completely cured of everything. I don't have like I don't have adrenal fatigue, I don't have liver problems anymore, I don't have gout, my hormones are working perfectly again, um, I get my period on time, there's no pain, it lasts only three to four days where previously it was seven days and very heavy, now it's just scarce bleeding. Um, I don't have sleeping problems anymore, I don't have herpes, I don't have anxiety attacks, I don't have uh, edemas or uh, inflammations, uh, my hair and nail is again strong, they used to break a lot, um, my yeah my candida is gone and um, basically I'm not taking any medication, I'm not taking supplements, all I take is D vitamin and B12 and the rest it's just my body who cured my, me. So, um, except for my eczema, I still have that. But um, it says, or yeah, they they say that uh, whatever you had the longest will take the longest time to repair. So I'm pretty sure that my eczema will go away eventually, but it just takes longer time. And I think to heal that long list of things in just three years is amazing. And I'm pretty happy for that. It's like I've got my life back. And um, if I was to give you an advice, I'd say please, please try it because, you know, it might just take a month or two of your time of your life and you will know pretty soon within that month or two if it's working and if it's something for you. It's pretty radical, but at the same time, if you can get your life back, isn't it worth it? If you can live a life that's happy without symptoms and and tiredness and, and illnesses, wouldn't it be worth trying it? Well, I thought it would and I really hope that that I can inspire other people to do it and uh, yeah, please give it a try. Please do it.